the first time I saw you. Hey, YouTube. Good afternoon. I'm Stanley Passion. I have a poem here called Goddess. The first time I saw you, it was in a remote world. It was years ago. You yourself were in a niche, manifest, in a Hindu temple, a marble figure, with your eyes carved wide open. You were adorned in regal pageant gown, dyed scarlet, gold thread woven within it, made you shimmer in the flickering candlelight. I noticed your eyes were painted violet. Your right arm, it protruded direct out from the shoulder. It was bent right angle at the elbow. It had a barely clenched fist atop, and from your fist a thumb extended. Straight up, perpendicular to your head. Its signal was unmistakable, providential. It portended good luck, thumbs up. Brass bowls of red-hot coals burned. They burned perfumed. Josh sticks at your feet. Your supplicants cued. From portal to portal arch, they humbly attended chance to implore good fortune. And they carried on polished metal trays oblations of fresh cut flowers, and I remember of fresh cut flowers, and I remember seeing strings of marigolds, cluster upon cluster of pompons, and within branches of large lotus flowers. They offered all kinds of fruit. There were bananas, coconuts, and pomegranates. All was splashed with bright vermilion powder, as if to inform the procession to remind those petitioners that once your altar demanded blood, your continents necessitated animal sacrifice. And me? I await patient. I am yet another mortal. I am yet another mortal who prays for favor, hope to tease meaning from your stare. I desire, I wish for you to bless me. My eyes are locked. They dwell upon your motionless and painted face. I hear drums tap out devotional rhythm, and though and through the distance a din of flutes and whistles, singers repeat your name to accent, accent your ascendancy. Oh, how deep the people's love and ardor. I go deeper than my pocket, pull wrapped hard candies and add them to my tray of gifts, and excited, excitedly show the temple priests I wear appropriate raiment, I tell them. My nostrils detect your mango fragrance. And in the clamor coming up, almost inaudible, against the background noises of the street, I believe I hear your coded parlance. I miss you. You tell me you miss me. I am on my knees. I plead, goddess, love, Grant me the serenity to accept the long absence before you are flesh in my arms again. The courage to change those things about me so better to pray and be proper devotee. And the wisdom to remain faithfully yours and to be yours and yours alone today, tomorrow, whatever obstacles may bar the way, stay course steadfast and loyal. Fervently always.